Yeah. Wow, another successful TikTok from the gang here at Good Influences. Yeah. If you're not following us on TikTok, what the F are you doing? <laughs> What yeah, are you doing? what the hell are you doing? <laughs> um, our last couple TikToks have kind of popped off. I will not lie. Slaying, move over. Deep into Alex July Earl. at this point. Hope everyone July is going real well. <laughs> oh yeah, we're so um, deep in July. Wait, how deep in July are we right this now? This will be July eleventh. Oh, it's I hope you, oh, was it my birthday. Happy birthday! Oh yeah, happy birthday. birthday! How old are you turning? Thirty one. Thirty one. Everyone wow. don't fight. Uh, snake, snake emojis, emojis on, on Matt's, Matt's yeah. <laughs> Instagram post. No, don't do that. Everyone go wish Matt a happy birthday on his Instagram. Yeah, we're filming this like a whole month before, basically. No, no, no it's July right now. Oh, right <laughs> now. What did I do? I don't want to break the uh, illusion. I like to be, I, I want people to think we do this the same day. The same day. The same day. We so Trump post. just uh, went to prison. Finally, he's behind bars. Do you think that's gonna happen? I don't think so. I don't <laughs> understand this process at all. How fast do you think time's been going by? Do you, or sometimes yeah. are you like specific? It's going so fast. Or sometimes you're like, this has been the slowest year ever. I've never thought fast. that living here. I don't think I've thought once living in LA that it's been a slow year yeah. ever. Everything goes by so fast. I used to think about life in four year chunks because that was like <laughs> high school is four years and college is four years. Oh. And it felt like forever. Like okay. I'm like, okay, if you get through college, like you, that's a whole lifetime you live in those four years. I've been here for four years. I feel like I've been here for a year. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's unbelievable how much faster time goes as you get older. I wonder mm. if it's because we don't have like all the seasons. So it feels like there's no change. Yeah. It's it Groundhog really Day fast. every day. It's also like you're yeah. going to school. Yeah. And semesters break it up to you. You have different classes. A yeah. change of scenery as well. Yeah. 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 Well, it's like that Smash Mouth song. What? The Some years stop start coming, coming and they, they don't, don't stop coming. coming. Back to the rules and I hit, hit the, the ground, ground running. running. Yeah. It makes sense not to live for fun. Smash Mouth or Taylor Swift? Smash Mouth. <laughs> it's Poetic. for fun? Yeah. I thought it was like forefront. What does that mean? It's not a word. Forefront? Like the forefront of your mind. Oh. Wait, what is the lyric? Uh, Give me one margarita. <laughs> oh, oh, forefront. Isn't like the forefront of a store? The store for... No, that's a storefront. What's front. the Can line? Something be Can a, you sing it? Uh, In the forefront. For, uh, but you're, oh, you're start coming in... <sighs> Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain oh, gets smart, like but your head front. gets dumb. Like the forefront oh, of your mind, no. not to live in the forefront for of your... Fun. Oh. Your brain gets Is smart, but your head gets dumb. Is forefront a word? Or have I been saying that mind? Forefront? No, I think yeah, forefront it's a word. is a word. It is a word. Like, oh, it's in the forefront of my mind right Colleen now. Colleen Hoover references it all the time. <laughs> so it has to be <laughs> The best author to ever exist. Well, speaking of college, I sent Carly a fun fact last night that I thought would be thrilling to share. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's hear it. I was like, um, <gasps> Matt, don't be rude this time. Don't talk yeah, over. Don't you be fucking rude. Don't be rude. Let me grab it. Were you guys ever like four loco drinkers? Yes. You partook. I was part of the wave the of the recalls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah before the, 2000, the original. It had the to have OG. been after 2011. I was having four locos in 2011 or fall of 2010. That's like around the time when they had the recall. Yep. Yeah. Original uh, recipe. We were the OG. Okay. I've never had one. Is Only that the fact? ever blacked out. <gasps> right? Uh, no, that was a common thing is that they would get you blackout. Well, drunk. here's what the ingredients are basically they consist of four to six beers, one espresso shot, and one Red Bull. <laughs> That, that was what was in, in it. That was like the original. There I, were four beers. I mean, four, four shots. It kind of had like a no, very four beers. I mean, you can't physically fit. Four well, yeah, beers. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's saying but like one... the equivalent of drinking all of these things. Oh. Oh. Four, like a one beer yeah. is equal to one shot is equal to one glass of wine. They're all the same amount of alcohol. Whoa, oh. really? Yeah. Interesting. Four beers equal one glass of wine. No, oh. one beer is one glass of one wine. Margarita. Is one shot. <laughs> Oh, right. They all have the same amount of alcohol. That's why people, you can, if you drink the same amount of liquid in like tequila as you would in beers, you'd be dead. Yeah. That's so weird because if I have one glass of wine, I'll be like a little tipsy, but if I have one margarita, I'm going to open my legs. <laughs> 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 this trend is not oh, even going to be a trend on TikTok by the time this fucking video comes out. Um, so they would put four shots, essentially. Four to six. Four shots of espresso and a Red Bull. One shot of espresso. Oh, it still seems like overkill. <laughs> it is overkill. That's crazy. It's crazy. It kind of had like a whiny Four taste. Beers. Literally, to it. how did any of us survive? I want to try one. I never had one. But, but the thing I want is, the OG though. You would open a Four Loco <laughs> and you would get like halfway. And you're like, I'm not finishing this. Oh, no yeah. one literally ever, like blacked out. Yeah, no one would ever. Well, funneling you, them. That was always the dangerous. Oh my Jesus. god. On, that on top because of drinking then you don't other things. Realize. <laughs> like imagine drinking just... other things like 
There's taking a, shots and then doing that. Ooh, there's no. a video we filmed my freshman year of college. There was a kid who said, I can drink an entire bottle of the big bottle of Grey Goose in one swig. <gasps> and we were like, there's no fucking way. But we're like 18. And it's it's on YouTube. It's called like Halloween 2007 Shoe or nice. something. <laughs> this kid, we went to like Sam's Club or whatever. He unwraps a bottle of uh, Grey Goose. It's like Friday night. He just goes like this and doesn't stop like, okay, until it's bougie. completely empty. And then he turns the bottle over and not a single drop came out. Did he have to go to the Ugh. hospital? Nope. nope. He just went out like it was a normal. When you're 18, what size body did he have? he has a lazy eye. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys could afford a gray goose. Uh, I think we like pulled our money together yeah, because oh, for the challenge. Out. And he was like, I think he was saying, you know, I couldn't do it with like pop off or like a shittier one, but because it's a little higher Beatles. quality, what but was it was pop off. It's like the like bottom tier, Pop like I, maybe it's in East, like New Jersey. It's just like really shitty vodka. Oh, no, okay, that's what, what that. we would get. That was like the, it was like ten bucks for a handle. Yeah, a handle. Good God! <laughs> well, I remember one time I little... drank Everclear, like oh. r- uh, warm. Ooh. Oh, God. the water bottle that's really filled with vodka. Oh, Ooh. yeah, we all made that mistake. Blech. Now we they got Stanley cups. Like they have it so easy in school. <laughs> they bring their Stanley cups. They bring their whatever in school what do you mean well you know you know everyone would have bought a bottle full of vodka at school oh no at school i was never doing oh. that in class i mean <laughs> i knew kids no. that would take triple c's to What's class that? you know triple c it's like uh quercetin it's uh for chest cough and oh they, they would dr- making like they, scissor yeah i was gonna say it was scissor they would take that and they would like drink it in class and stuff oh my god there's a little bug on the top of my can. I'm oh, just checking I out. thought you saw a rat in your drink. I got scared. In like college, Carly, that would be a way that you could like transport the alcohol. Oh, okay. To like on campus things yeah. because you weren't supposed to have it. Yeah, there are so many people that just brought stuff to like high school. That's crazy. God. Yeah. Wait, so this guy who drank the Grey Goose, was I he like a bigger it, guy? How's he no, doing he's now? No, like a regular guy. I have no idea. I don't remember his name. <laughs> Something bad happened. Couldn't you be like legally held responsible? Probably. Because you purchased it? I didn't purchase it. I was just there as a witness. Oh well, then no, he couldn't be. I think he. Th- I think he like probably puked that yeah, night. Yeah, I'm sure. Which have you sense. have you heard of Shoe Nice? Shoe Nice. Shoe nice. <laughs> None of us know. What... Okay, so he's he was big on YouTube like years ago. Oh. I think he's on TikTok. I feel like I've shown you like we lived in our old apartment. Nice. He would do the same thing, and he would unwrap, but like crazy things like Windex. Does he, he would... have really blue Windex? eyes? Yes. Yes, I know. Yes, this he is. would chug yes. the whole thing, no, and that's he how fu- you go to the hospital. No, I know, but he never did, and he, he would show himself like uh, buying it, opening it, everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Matt, sorry. Uh, he quit drinking in 2018. Oh, okay. That's uh, fair. I have a friend Due to a... fear of dying from alcohol poisoning. And he would poisoning. eat like full bars of soap. Like he would eat the craziest shit yep. that was like, Ooh. It says he went back to eating regular food and objects on no. his new channel. Well, you know who nice. I think has a really fun job? I've never met him. I'd always, I've always wanted, uh, the guy Rusty for Friday Beers. What's that? For like Almost Friday. Huh? I don't know what that is. No one knows what you're talking about. I don't know. He's like, Explain. he's the guy who's like, all right, today I'm drink. I'm going to be finishing a six pack of whatever beer it is. And he'll have like one beer and he'll tell you how he's feeling or like he, and then oh. three beers. Mm-hmm. Oh, he says how, or he'd do like a 12 pack to I think. like kind of do like a haul. How many he does a haul that you check in with him and he always says like funny <laughs> stuff, but it's just, he gets all, like he gets celebrated Dude, doing that. It would be really interesting to do a video where we're all drinking the same amount. And then after like one beer, say, oh, yeah, then we all do our, the breathalyzer yeah. to see how like we're all each individually affected we by that'd be, that? that'd be fun i bought a breathalyzer before you so you can just like get them on amazon yeah, we, well, is it a good one though yeah it was we, we did it at south by southwest because oh, yeah. all you do at south by is just drink all day i'll be but fun breath, let's do that a breathalyzer no, yeah. is super fun a good breathalyzer because i remember as a kid like someone bought like a keychain breathalyzer and no, I was you gotta, we gotta get the one I, that they put in the car yeah <laughs> have, like, you ever, have you ever been in a car with someone who no. has that no, no have you Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two yes. times in my life. And Two? I learned really fast it's not cool to acknowledge it. Oh, like, shit. I was like, you have a breathalyzer in your <laughs> yeah, car? Yeah, you'd be like, I what need the to f- know what the, what the optics yeah, are. Yeah, I was like, working for work? the Frisco Rough Riders. And one of the girls there had a breathalyzer in her car. And Damn. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? I was like, I've never seen this. Did and you I, have to blow it when you got yes. it? Yes. <laughs> and I was like oh, making no. jokes all the time. And everyone was like, stop. Oh. It's not funny, like, because I mean, something bad happened, yeah. and I was like, "Oh shit!" Well, the thing is, I was just drunk, and 
Don't yeah. you have to get like so many DUIs in order to then it, I think it becomes so. like part or of some your... sort of accident? Probably. Like you, yeah. you got to go install something in your car. Also, what's the technics on that? that I know. Seems like, could like someone else blow it if they wanted more to? Money. Why? Yeah. Why do you get to that? go to, to install that in someone's it's car? It's to prevent you from drunk driving again. No, it, I understand, but like I know a lot of people who have like multiple DUIs and still and don't, don't have, have it one. installed. So it I'm might like, be like wondering, a state by state thing or yeah, county by county. At what yeah. point? Do I don't know. You... If that's so scary. <laughs> it is really scary. If you're like in a car with someone and they're like, "Sorry, once," or actually they're like, "Hey, can you blow into this for me?" <laughs> no, yeah, no, I think like... people have done that. Yeah, that's what she does in Forty uh, Year Old Virgin. Oh, that's where it. Yeah, and he's like, what? yeah really sad somebody died on tiktok live oh. drinking like way too much and he just like you like people could see him like dying he basically. had like alcohol poisoning yeah. on live yeah he was like you were watching it in the shower what, what? Yeah, that guy's dying? No. <laughs> no i just saw it and i was like Hol i mean i didn't see it but i saw the article Dude, about alcoholism it alcoholism is not a joke and he was doing the thing where it's like send me this tip and i'll drink this send me a tip here and i'll drink this and people are like no more what of did that. he do like is it choke on his vomit or yeah. something he like passed out i think it was like yeah. so, and then like threw up and you could it's really sad you could hear people in the background like what what'd you do to him like what happened do you go to the tiktok live it was like in the background of the tiktok live like i don't think they realized it was still going because it was just him oh, i but believe so he wasn't even alone well there were people there but not in the room Oh my God. I believe. Sad. Yeah, it was really sad. Did you look up the? It's, it doesn't really say. I think it probably <clears> depends <throat> on state by state, but it says designed to be a deterrent for drunk driving. Someone with only one DUI conviction may be mandated to use a breathalyzer in their car. So I think it really probably just depends. Yeah. What? Uh, what's it called? <laughs> a breathalyzer. I know, but in car breathalyzer. Or it's like, like the brand name thing again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, oh I just, god, in car yeah. breathing tube. Yeah, I think Alcohol it's literally a breathalyzer. It just says, "Do you get it?" Like, car breathalyzer. Maintain an IID. What are you looking at? Uh, welcome back to oh. the Suits Podcast. Today we're gonna be talking about <laughs> season two, episode Stop! twenty-four, Blood oh, in the Water. You're right. It's called an ignition <laughs> interlock device. Oh, I didn't guess that. No, but you, oh, you knew there that there was another a name. name for it. Of course, it's device. called that. Oh. You said those exact words. <laughs> <laughs> of course, like, uh, it's called something crazy um, like that. But today is July 11th, and I figured I would tell us um, some fun things that are happening today. On July 11th. Yep. Cool. Today is National Swimming Pool Day. Oh Ooh. my God! I have to go in the pool. After I hope. This. Yeah. Wait, can I just mention? Isn't today Flag Day? No, that's June 14th. Oh, that is today. Yeah. Oh but we're yeah. Not well, while we're recording, happy Flag Day. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Oh, it is Flag Day. I Should have brought some flags for you. Well. Swimming pool day. <laughs> um, what did you have anybody like growing up who had the sickest swimming pool? Uh, no, my, I wish. my best friend had a swimming pool, and it was one of the ones that was like concrete, though. Oh, so you'd yeah. always like scrape like your toes or your knuckles. Oh, oh. That's like my pool now. But my aunt had like the best swimming pool. It was just like a classic rectangle. Had a diving board. Nice. We would go there yeah, all the time. Boards, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah like did they? I feel like I never see them now. No, I, I think it's like you. Even if it's just like your house and someone's over, like you're so liable that uh, a lot of people are just like pool builders can't what about a build them. Anymore, so a lot. Of, that's why the diving boards you see, like people have them, they're so old because that's yeah, from like the yes. time they were installed. Yeah, because they a don't. A pool builder won't give you a diving board if you pay for one. Mm -mm, I think you have to go buy it separately and install. Or get like it a permit. Or I'm something. pretty sure they they'll, they'll do. Cl now it's all about the know. cliffs. No. They don't want the bounce. They. It's like people will create elevated areas for people to jump off into their pools. What about a slide? Are those sl slides? I feel like are allowed. slides on swimming pools are so funny because it's literally just choo choo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so short. Wait, oh. But it's also like, I kind of you fun. always get hurt. <laughs> on a oh, slide? Really? Yeah, it was like Just burning. in like a swimming pool, yeah. <laughs> we had some people who had the sickest slides that were like the rock kind of slides that were like. Oh, built in. Built in. Oh, so it was like half yeah. waterfall, half uh, rock. Yeah. God. So it's you just have like, seen a waterfall. I have <laughs> seen one, yes. <laughs> on those slides. <laughs> Um, oh, I lo I loved swimming. If you had a swimming pool, if you had to build a swimming pool, I guess uh, there's so many factors that come into it. Are you more of like a a deep end kind of swimming pool person or like a party volleyball style? Because like deep end. Who's oh, I'm deep like end? a. I, want... I like I like to go dive for rings and pretend I'm a mermaid. Yeah, I like doing that too. I like finding stuff. Yeah, I was a deep end kind of kid. Like when like, I'm I was... at my parents, I'm wearing goggles and I'm yeah. like throwing stuff, getting it. Oh my god! I'm mm -hmm. like a. I like it to be. I would just like a like a dipping pool where I could like stand, 
from here down oh, is yeah. the water, and then I can just like have a drink, and there's like nice waiting pool, edge yeah. seating. I, I don't need I anything want to swim in. A slide though. Mike can't swim. He's been. Uh, you don't know how. That's a lie. I've been. Sw- I could, I could probably swim better than you. Oh. No, I probably can't. You're bigger than me. I grew up swimming. Oh my oh. god, my I forgot to put my phone on silent. And I literally thought my friend who is engaged was saying like I'm breaking up with my fiance. <gasps> she Wait. said, "Friends, it's a bittersweet day. Eric and I are almost officially leaving." But then she said, "The big city." But oh, I thought I literally god. was like, "Look, oh, you already have boy. your wedding planned." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my heart sank for a second. Ooh, uh, they're just was, moving it's fine that was spooky <laughs> oh my god my heart literally can't sort of text like that no did you guys all have a good july 4th we will be right back after a quick word from our sponsor honey love the reviews are in honey love came out on top for the best wedding day shapewear with wedding season upon us this is the ad you've been waiting for whether you're a bride a guest or looking for an everyday fit honey love is your go-to for all things shapewear Honey Love has revolutionized compression technology so you no longer have to feel like you're suffocating while wearing effective shapewear. I know I've worn shapewear personally before that feels like I am truly suffocating on the verge of passing away. <laughs> like, take this off of me right now. I'm so uncomfortable. Honey Love is not like that at all. It is soft, it gives me the confidence, and it's not suffocating, which I think is the most important thing. When talking about shapewear, Honey Love's best selling super short is the go to. It has targeted compression technology that distinguishes between areas where you want more support and areas you need less compression. Their Signature X targets and sculpts your midsection without squeezing your natural curves. It's designed to work with your body, not against it. They also have body suits with 360 degree bonded compression that smooths your tummy and hips, built in support that lifts without underwire. Also, Honey Love is more than just sculpt wear. They have incredibly comfortable bras, tanks, leggings, and everyday support. Here's one of the bras I have. It is so soft and so comfortable. There's no wire, which I am quite obsessed with. Who wants a wire in a bra these day and age? Like, I don't know. But with Honey Love, shapewear should not be hard. Their products make you look and feel good, whether it's for a wedding, an event, an everyday boost of confidence. Honey Love is the perfect plus one. Treat yourself to the best shapewear on the market and save 20% off at honeylove.com slash good and use our exclusive link to get 20% off. That's honeylove.com slash good. Wait, was... no, I got to keep telling you the, oh, fa- the sorry, other yeah. days. It's also National World Population Day. What is... Um, it's to remind us that our present rate of population growth is unsustainable <laughs> and the present social and logistical issues we are experiencing to meet the demand of that population will only get worse if we don't do something. I've I, heard that's why I'm not having kids. I've heard like a conflicting opinion about that. I heard we're not having enough kids. That's what she just said. Mm-mm. No, she's saying too many the population kids. Too many growth, people. It, we're having too many people. I haven't heard I've that. heard about. The la- I think it depends by country and it depends by population density. Mm. I think the U.S. is saying that we have a population problem because we have a lot of war- uh, baby boomers that are going to need assistance in the last decade of their life. And there's just not enough young people to replace how many boomers there are in the U.S. Shit. I see. I, I saw some a couple articles about the lack of population growth and it scared me. I think that freaked me out. That's like well, billionaires trying to get more workers. Burned that's all they by care the time. About. Oh, really? That becomes an issue. Pretty it was much. Elon Musk who was pointing it out. Uh-huh. A genius. <laughs> He's a little uh, conspiratorial. Yeah. Okay, maybe we're all fine. He like liked a tweet that was like super anti trans. Yeah. He's a yeah. fucking idiot. Yeah. Like, He's been... Sir, that's your site. You know people can see what you like. You're a dumbass. Yeah. Yeah, he's been doing some weird things. Um, hold on, National Pool Day. <laughs> uh, yeah, back to it. Do we do we do something to celebrate, or is it just you can? I yeah, love a good. Yeah, nata- it's like take a little dip. I love a good natatorium. I wish there were more natatoriums, like an indoor pool. Oh no! Oh, so spooky. I do not the like green. it. Like, I wish they were more. Really there were the more of them. Oh. Just tons of them all around, so I could just go <laughs> and be in natatoriums more often. I hate that they're, like, school-related, because I'm not going to go on to, like, a high school. School? Like, like they're just what is natatoriums are me of for... Like a... You could say indoor pool. Yeah. Like, what is this natatorium <laughs> word you're trying to throw around? Like, everyone knows to what you're talking about. To me, it just reminds me of, like, indoor hotels. Pool, indoor pools yeah. at hotels. Like that's at boring. That's, like, the ceiling it's is as tall as That's a little gross. It's a little I sad. like the echo the of the natatorium. The, 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 yes. The glass, like, where you can, the sun can shine through and make it really hot in there, and it's, like, almost humid. What about, like, the YMCA? I guess so. It's a little too public. Mm. Like an indoor pool I'm not at a natatorium house. girl. No, they really creep me out. Like they, I am an indoor not pool really a natty me out. girl. Yeah. How um, many days are there, like officially on July 11th? Like how many? Is, like so, how many do you have 
in total? I have one, two, three, four, five. Interesting. Why? Because I, you know, like, where did you find this? What's the website that's telling you it's oh, National I Pool Day? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Okay, well, it turns out that, like, these, na it's National Women's Month, or, or that's probably a real thing. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> Great example. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or like it's national. Well, it said this because it was like on July 11th of this year when the population hit five million. Like, there's reasons why it's but on like this National day. Hot Dog Day or like National. Sure, Pool it's just day. like made up. You things. can there's like an official government thing that you can just pay money to and then be an official holiday. Yeah, and like I think we've done a brand deal, or I've done a brand deal with some brand that like bought a specific day, and they're like, <laughs> oh, we're doing National. Hot dog Perfect. day. Oh, that makes sense. So, like, sense. should we buy a day? Well, should National we Pool Day should be a federal. That's holiday. what we're going to spend our money on. Like, we can say, let's let's. You do, won't let me spend money on anything, let's do and good, that's what you want to do. Good influences day. We can no. make it on our anniversary. No. <laughs> um, it's a, a federal <laughs> holiday. Banks are closed. Is it a tax write off? <laughs> I don't know. Probably. Do you think there's a, a holiday? Do you think if there's anybody who's alive right now, if they died, it would become a holiday? Because I do. Oh. <laughs> For me, genuinely, I think it should be a holiday. If you say Barbara Streisand. Close. Dolly Parton. I mean, if Dolly I'm Parton sure. died, we're not going to get Dolly Parton Day. We, you don't think so? I like don't the think so. It's not going to be a bank holiday. But, but I think she was like a true national treasure. But think of like Betty White. Like there's no holiday. Well, Betty... For... Well, Betty uh, yeah, but Betty wasn't Betty wasn't putting out music. Yeah, but she was so she was loved. I think the girl. last guy that died that we gave a day to is Martin Luther King. You're yeah. putting her on the same level as Martin Luther King. Okay, easy she did now. donate a million dollars to the vaccine. <laughs> to the vaccine to Moderna to make it. Yeah, mm. yeah. She's really you know philanthropic. Yeah, in I between. Think, but I I think it would be like on the same category as this, not like a bank holiday like, on Google Cal. First <laughs> yeah. of all, I don't think if anyone died of a natural cause. Yeah, they're getting a holiday. Yeah. Yeah, she has to be like, like, murdered like if or Barack something. Barack Obama was assassinated, we're getting Barack Obama Day. Yeah. That's like oh. that's but true. That just but Dolly Parton dying of old age, not gonna happen. Oh, I guess you got a point. Like but, JFK, President's but, Day. Reason we have President's Day is Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Notice how they're all men. We have a we have something for women, no? No, I don't <laughs> think we do. That's the no? Mother Teresa Day. No, Mother Ter yeah, she doesn't even have one. <laughs> Wait, do we have a day for Second Julia Day? Uh, I don't know. I don't think, think we so. have one. You're think right. So. Um, no, okay. women just don't matter to anyone. Well, so. we have National Women's Month. International Women's Month. <laughs> well, no, it's Women's History Month and then International Women's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. We celebrated here. We did. We did. <laughs> Mere months ago. Matt didn't celebrate though, obviously. Known sex. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Local known sex. He says this should not be a holiday. <laughs> I'm going to the bank. Shouldn't be. This closed. is like a personal fave and kind of exciting. National Blueberry Muffin Day. <laughs> so stupid. Actually Muffins. <laughs> you don't like blueberry muffins? Fucking they shouldn't exist. What? A muffin should have chocolate chips or something okay. sweet. Do you like Blueberries a corn are muffin? sweet? Corn muffins great. But blueberries are pretty sweet. Blueberry yeah. muffins with are, the sugar on top. Dude, they're imposters. You all anyone really wants is the chocolate chip. It's like oatmeal raisin. You want a cookie, you go and pull it, and you see it's not the chocolate chip. It's a disappointment. A blueberry muffin is always a disappointment. No, it's not. I absolutely don't agree I will with you. Order at all. a blueberry muffin. Me too. If they have chocolate chip yes. or blueberry, it's you like will... pumpkin bread. It's it is just in a muffin shape. No, Mike. it's a bait and, the bait and switch of Mike. muffins. No, I think it's okay to have like an array and of it, yeah, types it, of muffins yeah. that you enjoy. I don't want healthy shit in my muffin. It's gotta it's, be muffins oh, are not healthy no matter what. That's the point. So don't try and make it a salad by putting a blueberry in it. <laughs> no, it doesn't become a salad. It's it just, just it's like to me, it's tasty. Yeah, and like warm, the blueberries are tasty. heated. They like yes. pop in your mouth a little. I just remember growing up, we would go to Sam's Club. And they made these really good chocolate chip muffins, and we would get so excited because we would yeah. see what we thought was chocolate chip, and then you go and look closer, and it's blueberries. The well, biggest disappointment. Did you have glasses then, or did you <laughs> not? It might have been before I had glasses, okay? <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So that's on you. You know what I was thinking about? What? The reason why I have glasses is my own fault. I don't need them. What? When I was Wait, like, you, none of your other you family members. Test? When I was like in fifth grade, I just didn't give a shit about school and I didn't pay attention, and I was just like not doing well, and I like failed tests and stuff, and I just wasn't doing well. And my parents suggested, well, maybe you can't see the what the teacher's writing on the board because you have bad <laughs> eyesight. Maybe that's why you're not doing well in school. And I was like, yeah, that's it. And then like so coincidentally, the next day was the eye exam. <laughs> 
and I was just like, <laughs> I need cool. glasses because I can't see the board. And I just lied about the thing, and they put glasses on me when I was like in fifth grade. And like none of my brothers have glasses, my parents don't have glasses, and I think I just wait. Didn't that hurt your eyes? Uh, I think a little bit, but I I guess I got used to it. <laughs> oh and my like, god! I think that over time, the more that you wear glasses, like your eyes get worse. Yeah, and like, my eyesight isn't because that you don't bad. need them. I know. Wait, so you still don't need them? Well, no, I well, definitely he does need now. Them. Yeah. 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 I, fucked them up I too still, much. I was still growing when I first got them, and like my eyes were still forming, but I didn't. I don't like. I'm. I'm. You probably would have never needed glasses. Correct. Wow. Which is like so frustrating. You did it to yourself. I know. That's why wild. Why weren't you not paying, why weren't you paying attention that much in class? <laughs> Fifth grade, dude? I don't, I, I you were dude. like, I because don't want to learn how to add. add. Yeah, who, I don't know. You learned old to grade? add before this? fifth grade. <laughs> A long division, fourth grade, <laughs> I guess. Two plus two. Who, who is this old lady fifth talking about grade. history? I don't give a shit. I did not give a shit about. If your that. kids don't give a shit, are you not going to give a shit? I don't believe in the. I don't think the education system we have is teaching anyone anything of use. Why do I care what order of the fucking planets are? That's not going to help anybody. No, oh, it just teaches you like discipline of having to pay attention to information. That it teaches you, you how to be a blue collar worker that no. follows rules. Mike's going to sit his kids down in front of the TV and say, "You want to learn something." Put on suit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is a whole new episode. We're going to say, they're going to watch Suits and Seinfeld. This is how you're going to be funny, yeah. and this is how you're going to be a Smart. lawyer. And then if they want to become a doctor, we'll put on House and Scrubs. Perfect. Grey's Anatomy. And that's all you need. Taylor for a musician. Yep, Don't just say yes. Just you say yes. dare. Okay, it's also oh. National Mojito Day. <gasps> Now, uh, what, now what that's a holiday mojito? I can get behind. Got a little rum. Like a mint mojito? They're so I, good. I don't know any. There's mimosa, mojito. Oh, mojito's you like a rum-based drink with a little mint, a little julep. It's so good. Like the ice? Like, like right? It, it normally comes in like a highball glass. It's the mint leaves, you crush a it, and you have, um, is yep. it rum? Yep. It is rum. So rum. it's rum in a tall, skinny glass. A high Dude, ball it's glass. delicious. It's just a lot. It's kind They're of really a bit. Good. It's a bit of a it's, schlep to make. And I like, think. if you have too many, like, I will absolutely get a stomach ache. Yeah. Like after one, I'm like, okay, I had it. Okay, so but it's like mimosa. really refreshing. Right. The mojito. The mojito. mojito. What's a mimosa? Champagne, Champagne and orange juice. You don't know what a mimosa is. I know that they and are your alcoholic 30... drinks. What? I ha Four. <laughs> You're a mimosa, Mike. <laughs> You're bu bu I bullshit you. I know that. You know what this is. You, if this you is... paid me a million dollars to make you a mimosa, I'm not getting it. Are you what? kidding? I have no how idea. How many fucking, you've lived in LA for how many, uh, how many years? You've never gone to a brunch. I know that people order them and that there's alcohol, but I don't know what the difference is between a margarita, a mojito, a mimosa. A, wow. There's all these, what, there's like so many of them. Well, What's a margarita? margarita. <laughs> I'm gonna open my leg. A mimosa. What do you, well, if you had to order like an alcoholic beverage that wasn't beer, what would you order? Just like uh, a whiskey, old fashioned. You're never like curious looking around being like, what's everyone else drinking? Or like, <laughs> I finally figured out what the Bloody Mary is. It's like tomato juice and vodka. Yeah. And then Bloody Mary mix. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay, so I know that. Okay, that's a star. A mimosa. Breaking. Margarita. What are the other ones? You should venture Champagne. into margaritas. Like a Moscow mule. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> I know it comes in the copper cup. Yeah. Moscow. Russian I don't know what's vodka. in a Moscow yep. mule, but I know Good it's job. delicious. You don't know what's in a Moscow a mule? Ginger beer. There's ginger yeah. beer mm -hmm. and lime and vodka. And vodka. We used to drink those a lot. That's but like a my go-to drink. Yeah, we used to like make them. It's like, like yeah. what's in a PB and J? Is that the one with champagne? You said Mimosa? champagne and orange juice. <laughs> Is that it? It's just champagne and orange. What juice? What about a yes. screwdriver? That I know, vodka and orange juice. Good job. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was the first thing I ever drank. You should try a margarita. I've had a margarita. That's okay. tequila. Am I the mm -hmm. asshole for giving my friend a hard time no, it's, about no, not it's knowing funny. what's a in a mimosa? No, I think funny. that's a right. Everyone's a right the asshole full, here. Um, huh. Roast. I'm just, I don't like. I don't get the. I mean, I get it, but like people who just drink at brunch on a Sunday, we're just prolonging the inevitable here. Like the hangover's coming. Wouldn't you rather just get over it today? Uh, I think it can kind of coast you into a good nap that makes your Sunday scaries go away, but you're not going to go like balls to the wall like you would on a Saturday. Mm. Or like, you just drink to forget. Yeah. <laughs> Hair of the dog. You know where that phrase comes from? Hair of the dog? Tell what? me. Do you know? No. So you know what the idea is. Mm -hmm. If you're hungover, you drink a little bit more, which actually is scientifically... Incorrect. No, correct. Oh, wow. Really? I'd want to throw up hungover if well, I had to drink so again. Okay, uh, if I can get a little sciencey here. When you drink, Whoa. your body... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> your body is 
becoming depressed. Dehydrated. And dehydrated, but depressed. So all of your systems are slowing down. Okay, because that's what alcohol does. It slows everything down. Wait, but I thought that what happened. Why does your heart race sometimes? Because to compensate for the drug of your body slowing down from alcohol, your body produces adrenaline and the anxiety of like pushing the wake up uh, chemicals in your body of like, wake up, wake up, wake up to counteract the alcohol. So it's it, not a stimulant. And it no, alcohol is not a stimulant. It's alcohol depressant. is a depressant. Okay. Excess, except like isn't tequila no they're like, all it's it's the most stimulating of the depressants. but it like as a drug alcohol is a depressant and then the next day because alcohol is like truly just a poison for your body <laughs> your body is overcompensating the next day and continuing to pump the wake up be alert like excited uh chemicals in your body and that's why you feel anxious and mm. like your heart's racing you're sweating this is your parasympathetic like system i like, think something okay. i don't know the exact terms but the point is is if you take a drink you're basically calming that yeah, like anxiety part back down with the depressant effect of alcohol but it's a vicious cycle that's how people become alcoholics just take a xanax <laughs> But after, so you drink that one drink and it slows it down, but then when it wears off, does it come back? Yeah, uh, a little bit, but it like it's like a temporary fix. Got it. But the reason why it's called hair of the dog that bit you is because there used to be a thing that if you got that rabies from a dog. You. yeah, And I've never heard that. that that's the full phrase, the oh. hair of the dog that bit you. <laughs> and they used to believe that if a dog bit you and you got like rabies or a disease and you ate the hair of the dog, that your body would like fix it oh, oh yeah. weird oh my god i'm never gonna remember that but it's so interesting yeah. hair of the dog that bit you is the full phrase i didn't oh. know mm. you yeah. really learn something new every day on and on national blueberry muffin day at that <laughs> in pool day in flag day really <laughs> national blueberry muffin day who it, oh we're on mojito a little fun fact about mojitos tell me who do you you didn't say my name aaron <laughs> who do we thinks who do we? Th okay, I'm just gonna say Ernest. Wait, no. Well, uh, oh come on! I, I couldn't get the sentence out. You would have never guessed that Ernest what? Hemingway's favorite drink was a mojito. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I've, read the, I've read the Sun Also Rises. Uh, isn't that I'd so been, like, funny? Taylor Swift. It's such a like funny drink. I feel like for like. Didn't he kill himself? Uh, I don't know a thing about Ernest. All I know about Ernest is like himself. the Ernest movies. No, that's a different guy. I'm aware. <laughs> do you know what Taylor Swift's go-to mixed drink is? Oh, this will make you like her. Think, Mike. You just most, were talking about uh, it. This I mean, will make I'm just you like to think her. What's the absolute most basic, boring drink? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> no, it's it's like pick me. Uh, her favorite drink is an apple teeny. No, shut no. the fuck up. What I, is that? What? I'm giving you a clear hint. A pick me drink. No, I just said you mentioned it, and you'll it'll make you like her. In old fashioned. Yeah, she loves a whiskey. Oh, I she was gonna say the I was gonna say the other thing. What? Oh, oh, that's absolutely disgusting. V uh, vodka Diet Coke. Is Taylor Swift's favorite drink? Yeah, it's like known to be one of her like go-to drinks. That friends. sounds more accurate. She probably said whiskey to like sound cool and be one of the boys, but like. No, sh she mentions it a lot. Yeah. I'm it's like in kidding. a lot of her songs. Taylor, sorry. <laughs> Diet yeah. Coke and vodka, like. He got annihilated in the that comments. Is, that is giving alcohol. That's I'm, vile. I would try it. My dad drinks that. He's not an oh. alcoholic, but like Diet Coke he would vodka? always have like a smear enough. I, I drank that when I was like in college, it's... but I had no clue what like I was <laughs> how to make doing. anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. When you're like in high school and stuff, and you gotta like find ingredients around the house so you can steal from your parents. Oh, I remember the first weekend Sam, my brother, came to college, and he also had never drank before, and he like came over and he thought he was being like, okay, I got the alcohol, and it was a bottle of Hypnotic, <gasps> which is like that blue like yeah. liqueur. And he was like, let's drink this. And I was like, bro, that is fucking Windex. Put that away. Oh my God. Like, who is fucking drinking hypnotic? <laughs> oh, I had a bottle. Yeah. Is that the one that has like 40 40 on it or something? I don't know. I but I, it's like... it's really beautiful. Like, it looks it's like. Hypnotic. <laughs> yeah. It's also <laughs> national free. Oh, I already love it. <laughs> Slurpy day. <gasps> oh, oh, it's yes, 7-Eleven! That one is a national holiday. Yep. I feel like I see it all over the I place. used to be an intern for 7-Eleven. Really? Yeah, Doing what? for their ad agency. I uh, worked on, I don't know, a bunch of different campaigns, but it was really fun on 7-Eleven day. I got to go around to all the 7-Elevens in the Dallas area, which is also where 7-Eleven is headquartered at, Oh, and like get free Slurpees. Fun! Wow. And what else is interesting about 7-Eleven? Oh, did you know in 7-Eleven, 
Um, the girl who's like the heiress to 7 Eleven uh, was adopted because she was born on 7 Eleven. Come on. By the 7 Eleven family. <laughs> also, if you've ever noticed about 7 Eleven, the N in the logo is the lower only case. is lowercase. It's the only letter that's lowercase. Everything else is oh. uppercase except the last letter. Why? Is that her name? Because the wife of the guy of 7-Eleven was looking at it and she goes, honey, it should just be a lowercase n. I feel like it would really soften it up. And she was kind of right. Like, <laughs> look at the logo. Noticed. But a lot of people don't realize that the n in 7-Eleven is lowercase. Yeah, now I gotta look at it. Yeah, will you show us? Because now 11. That's so interesting. And it was called 7-Eleven because it used to be open from 7 to oh, 11. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it 24 hours now? Oh, right. Is yeah. it kind of wild? And now it's most are 24 hours. The first one that was 24 oh, hours is on the yeah. UT campus <laughs> on... I was literally thinking with the lowercase MLK? N, like all the letters would be uppercase and then it's just so small. Me too, me time. too. <laughs> no, it's the same size. Yeah. yeah. Have you have you guys taken advantage of the free Slurpee on 7-Eleven Day? I don't think so. I They've also like I just ones. revamped the 7-Eleven Slurpee too. Like the, oh, I just I've like the big, no, the big gulps the big gulps of diet coke. It's all lowercase. Oh, that's really cool, Aaron. I think that they're probably doing a more new modern take on some things. <laughs> yeah, but maybe. for most seven elevens, <laughs> the end it is it is lowercase. Well, it looks like your facts becoming a little less fun, Matt. Oh sad. That is very interesting. Um, it's also cow. Appreciation Day. Aww. Can we move it up for the cows? <laughs> move. And I, it was like you can go to Chick Fil A and get free chicken because they, like they want to encourage you to not eat oh, uh, meat product. Oh. Meat Wait, product. do you do you, do you understand that? That's why the or cows cow are saying beef. eat more chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, yes. Eat. I remember as a kid for the longest time I didn't get it. I, like, it's a little weird. It's a big jump. That it that is. ad like, campaign because they're both there? animals. Like, yeah. wouldn't they be on the same team? Yeah. Like, yeah. don't eat animals. Yeah. Yeah. They're like pitting the animals against. They're each having other. a civil war. I think that campaign. It says, uh, okay, it says dress up as a cow. Okay, cow appreciation day. This is what it says you should do. Is this dress up as a cow? <laughs> And forego the beef by heading to Chick-fil-A on Cow Appreciation Day for free chicken entree. Cows will thank you. In 1995, it marked the beginning of the cow revolution when herds of beef cattle everywhere decided to take a stand for the future of the bovine race. Far more intelligent than others, Hef R. Jones, known as Eaton Birds, took his limited grasp of his owner's language and painted eat more chicken on a billboard this is an ad campaign made by the richards group sorry just been wanting to get that with okay. this daring move he set in motion a movement among cows everywhere to encourage us to eat more chicken so we wouldn't be eating them cow appreciation day commemorates hef and everything he's done for cattle kind. what about chicken appreciation day? i don't know eat more cows i wonder if it's like th- uh, like what is the difference between, between a cow and a chicken? Well, or just like why we would why we wouldn't appreciate one more than the other. Theoretically, I think cows are a little bit more intelligent and they're capable of more emotion, so they're closer to. They're a human. mammals. Like we don't eat. Oh yeah, they are mammals oh. too. Do you think it's also eggs. like more? It's also way easier to raise chickens and kill take a chicken. Space. Yeah, and cows are so big and cute. They're like no. I, there's like a. Should we go cow tipping? It's not a Let's real put thing. That on the list. It's not a real thing. Yeah, but like. We can myth bust. I don't want to stand anywhere near like horses or cows. Just the I thought know. of like, boom. Like, I, I feel know. like cows they, they don't can do kick that. backwards, forwards, and just that going right into my chest and my sternum breaking <laughs> and popping my lungs and my heart and just being like, <laughs> oh my God. Mm. yeah, that's not the first like, wedding. Like, horses standing behind scare that shit. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, I was listening to Smartless and Kaylee Cuoco was just on it and she almost had to like get her leg amputated because <gasps> she did horseback riding and it like uh, fell on her. Kaylee Cuoco? Kaylee Cuoco. It's Cuoco? Yeah. Oh, that was Cuoco. Kaylee Cuoco. Oh. She's talking about the actress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you flight attendant? Of... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did well, you that's watch a, that's that? A good face, Matt. <laughs> Did the you? The flight attendant? Uh, Patricia watched it. Seemed pretty good. I can't imagine you'd enjoy it. Especially uh, if you didn't like I thought suits. she was very, a very, I thought she was a very awful person. Oh, in the show. Yeah. Oh. I feel like I got to like yeah. mid season. Well, she's like an addict. Like, That's okay. the whole point. Um, yeah. when she, like, I watched when she relapsed and I was like, no. Spoiler. Yeah. She's in Sorry. a new show. It's pretty funny. You'd also wouldn't like it. So I don't know why. I, I, used, to wa- I used to watch her ride horses sometimes. Really? Who? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Haley Kuko. Kuoko. 
Uh, Sorry. I, there's like a trend that like designers will make bad UX that would like never be used. So it'll be like an example is what's a UX like user, user interface or user experience. <laughs> so like it'll be a design like a mock up of a design. So just an example is someone shows a screenshot of your iPhone messages and then underneath your last message it will say read forty seven times with like no response. It's like adding in features that oh. would not be a good thing to add. <laughs> read forty seven times. <laughs> yeah, like imagine if your if your phone told you how many times someone read your message before responding. Anyway, uh -huh. I saw one that was like on a on a box of like beef it had a picture of the cow and it was like this was bessie oh. she enjoyed roaming the fields and playing with her balloons oh, she was no. slaughtered on january 5th and now you can enjoy her no and it's just like the idea of like yeah it's people just don't I associate know. the fact that you're eating terrible. hamburgers that were like these i like when you, you see cows jumping around that? like a sweet cow it's so crazy because i think i would still read that and be like that's really sad Yum. Put it in my car. <laughs> Big Mac time. You know, yeah. like I think, like I, I know, like when I'm getting meat, I, I like, I think about it. Yeah. I'm like, this is how this was given to me. Yeah. It's really sad. And then you see, I've seen TikToks of people like cuddling with cows, I know, and they're the so cow sweet. And I'm like, why the head? fuck do I eat it? Like, imagine do if you, you did that to like dogs. Have you ever seen the movie right. Temple Grandin or know the story of Temple Grandin? Like the autistic woman who like no. revolutionized mm -hmm. the slaughterhouse industry. She's a professor at Texas A&M, but they also made oh. a movie with Claire Day. And it's oh, on wow. it's on HBO or, or Max as it is now. <laughs> and it's such a great feel-good movie about an autistic like person uh -huh. and in the slaughterhouse industry and how she made it actually like a really humane way of how these animals go up to the moment of when they are slaughtered. Life. Yes. Like it's a really great it's film. On Max. What do you think like a cow's average so lifespan good. is? Like if they weren't slaughtered? No, 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 no. If they are slaughtered, pre, pre killed for food. I don't know. Not long enough. Like I wonder what their lifespan is like normally without being slaughtered. Like if it's twenty years or like ten. Oh. Cow's like lifespan. Eight. No, dude. I think I feel like cows. Can a live cow like... can live around twenty years. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Six years old, average three. God. I found. I mm. mean, I have something else to talk about. If you guys want. Oh yeah, we can move on. From yeah, this no more days. Topic. No more days. Okay. Well, I just Ow. I was also very high last night and thought this was like so funny. I don't know if it's not funny anymore. Carly but getting it's high so by cool. herself. But it did. Um, no one was there. Uh. But he wasn't really high. But fine. <laughs> um, okay, so I saw on Reddit last night. It said, "What are you convinced people are just pretending to enjoy?" So I think that'd be like a fun discussion. But oh, I'm, I'll, okay. I have some on here that so are like, well, Mike's kind of first fun. and foremost, Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, he doesn't I do even pretend. pretend to enjoy no. Taylor Swift. Oh. Oh wait, I thought it I sorry, I thought it said what do you think people are pretending to enjoy? Oh no, I think people truly enjoy Taylor oh, Swift. I, I just, see what you mean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so he thinks people we are pretend. everyone's pretending yeah. to like Taylor Swift. No, I think people Okay, well let's hear it. Okay. Well, the first one I wait, saw Wait, can you read it again so I can understand? Yeah. What my are dumb you, girl brain? What are you convinced people are just pretending to enjoy? Oh yeah, that is what I thought. It is, yeah. Okay. Large I think, group dinners. I guess gaslighting me. <laughs> well, I thought you meant like him liking Taylor Swift. No, no, no. I was like, what? Um, okay, one of the responses was parades. How do we mm. feel about parades? No, oh, I, I think people actually I like, like parades. Them. I would go to a parade. Yeah, I'm, I feel like they're a little like all right. <laughs> I think they're <laughs> then, like throw a it, if, I, if I'm getting, I, I better be getting candy, some beads, and beads. Yeah. <laughs> And oh, you don't want to just witness? Like, I, I like looking at the stuff. Oh, there's uh, a marching where, band. Where, oh, there's like going to a parade. Like, yeah, I guess and, I, and like I was like, God, there's a parade going by. You don't watch like the Thanksgiving Day parade. <laughs> in New York, I, if you, mean, you live in New York, there's like, oh, it's the Puerto Rican Day parade or it's Fourth of July parade. Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah, there's always a parade. I love it. And it's I a also good... like, it's like this leading up to a parade you always kind of have like a little thing you're doing whether it's like oh we're doing like drinks at our house before the parade yeah. or like we're meeting up at the park and then go to the parade to like a parade i just no. want to be friends with somebody who has a really great spot that is where the parade goes by because like you used to like, be my house you, oh, what do you mean well we had a fourth of july parade and my dad i think my dad one year because it was like the beginning of it was fire trucks. Oh. And so he would drive the fire truck and there'd be tons of people. Oh, it would be bikes. We all would decorate our bikes and it'd be a little parade. So it wasn't like a parade parade, but yeah. it was like the neighborhood parade. Yeah. But it went right by our house. We'd wake up at 7 a.m. and just sit and I want to watch it. See the Vanderpump float every year at Gay Pride. <laughs> I was on a the BuzzFeed float for Pride one year. That was fun. 
I don't Love know. Parade. Parades are Not fun. Not pretending. Yeah. Um, someone said New Year's Eve. Everybody feeling no. like they have to have something to put on Facebook. Oh, well, that's that's their problem. I think New Year's Eve is objectively like a fun, like, woo! It's like a, yes. there's an air to it. Yeah. yeah. I love it's like after, it's the end of Christmas, which I love. And then I'm you like, You love oh. the end of but Christmas? But then I, no, no. No, he you're, loves you, Christmas. There's a oh, bit of like oh, post-Christmas like, depression, but then yeah. you're like, but hey, we got New Year's coming yeah. up. Yeah. And so. I do feel, though, that a lot of people have a lot of pressure to have fun on New Year's because it That's, feels like yeah. everyone else is. And you're like, well. Well, what are we doing? We have to do something when really you don't really have to do something, but people will force themselves yeah. to go somewhere. Like people who buy two hundred dollar tickets Crazy. to go to the club. I mean, can, what a waste! Like, oh for them to get a is that even good fun? To- a champagne? Yeah. Sometimes that's yeah. worth it. Sometimes that's worth it. Depends on where you're at. You couldn't okay. pay me to go out on New Year's. I'm Day. like I the v- very opposite of that. Like I, I being home. don't care about it in that sense, but I just think it's like such a magical day, and like no matter where I am or who I'm with, like. We're going to have a fun celebration. I just like that it's a day off and no one's emailing me. <laughs> New Year's Day on Rubby a Wednesday. Man. Sign me up. Yeah, yeah. Boxing day. No emails. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> I think there's a lot of YouTubers that are pretending I... to have a good time in their life. And they're just not. That's like any influencer. Wait, what did you say? Like a lot of YouTubers and like these TikTok people who are like pretending to just have super fun. Like so much fun. Yeah. And you're just like, you. I know you're pretending. Like no. I, You can see influencer. the second they put the camera down. Yeah, you, they're just like yeah. not the same person. So many uh, influencers are miserable, but we're not. This is exactly oh, no, what we're I'm, like all the time. I'm not. I've just Honestly, know yeah. a lot of people who I think are. And also, miserable. if Carly and I are like we, the amount of times on our channel, we're just like we don't know what the fuck to do. Like there are yeah. so many yeah. people that just like wouldn't do that because they have to keep up like this illusion that mm. like everything is perfect. Yeah, when like it's not. Like just be a person and feel how you feel. Someone said. This is their opinion. Hauling their whole family of snot-nosed kids to Disney for expensive tickets, overpriced shitty food, some gems in there, but mostly is meh. Packed crowds, Florida swamp heat, overpriced hotels, being nickel and dime for everything, waiting in lines, old rides, just to feel the magic and the kids slash adults better not have a for tantrum. What the, so I be- prompt us. Eh. Uh, I'm always what people very to surprised enjoy. Like going by... to Disney with children and having to oh, pay yeah. and like they're snotty. And gross no, stuff. I think kids, that just sounds like a person who just doesn't like it. Not flexible and doesn't like. You just have to accept a few things when you do an experience like that. Like, right. just accept. Like, it's gonna be some schlepping. And, yeah, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> wait in line. You're gonna be in a crowded place. You're gonna pay more for food, but in exchange, you will kids will get to like see their favorite characters in real life. Mickey and, Mouse. Like, yeah, come on. I'm convinced people are pretending to have fun at like raves. Like when oh, you see really? like people who are just like DJ. Yes, I thought about that when I was in Vegas and I was watching a bunch of people like jam out to Tiesto like by the a, pool. Uh, and I go, yeah. what? No. What are those people doing? Like, why they do you? Are, lo- they've been standing there for hours. I guess they must be on Molly, but they sure as hell did not look like they were on like some fun Molly. Yeah, you see like, like a rave and it's just like. And everyone's just like, loot. like, what? Okay. That's just because you don't understand that genre. And no, like, I do. But it's. I, I can listen to the music, but like. Wh- the people who, just like what he just said, you're standing around like in a pool, or like you're going to like a festival that is just. I could do. I could yeah, do like, a wait nighttime EDM all rave, day but, for like, Harry Styles. Like, what's the difference? Or Mars Volta. <laughs> yeah, I think people do enjoy raves. I think so like, too. The people uh, that are into, like techno. There's EDM. like a huge EDM culture. I would say it's like probably just, the biggest like phenomenon of all music genres ever. I know that it's huge, but like, I don't know, I just, there's something weird about like it. you convince that people don't actually like it. Yeah, I think that they're just like, they think everyone else likes it, so they're gonna, like, it look, oh, those people look like they're oh, having a good I time. I disagree. I'll go there and I'll just jump up and down at the same time as everyone else and we'll all have fun together. <laughs> 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 like, this is fun, right? This is sick. He just dropped the beat. Wow, we're all having it. Like, it actually is when you're on Molly and you're watching yeah. that shit and that beat drops, my no, God. It's it, fun. You've never been you've never felt like more my closer God. to like God. I, mean, I, I was I don't get that literally at all. sober at EDC and I was like, this is so fun. It's just like the energy around it. Like the people who are in deep with that culture love it because of the community. It's like I feel like the music is really fun, but it's also like such an event for everyone to kind of like come together and I guess have what's a nice weird time. is like the thing that people are like looking all the same way and like looking <laughs> at the DJ because he's like not really like to me the point of the music is to like dance and have fun but when you see like a rave everyone is just looking at the guy doing the same thing 
There's I don't get all it. these visuals though that I are guess. Like, yeah. I, but like I get a Harry Styles concert. You like him. He's hot. You like the well, lyrics. Well, they like the DJ. I guess. He's hot. <laughs> all right. Tiesto. I, if I went to a rave, I would have to be pretending to have a good time. I, yeah. I just don't. I would never be like. No, of course. I don't get but it. But I think the people who frequent them often are actually enjoying. Hmm. You don't think anyone there is faking it? Well, I feel probably, like in that, probably people like you who didn't want to be there. But I feel like in a Harry Styles crowd, you're <laughs> not going to find people that are pretending. But I feel like in a rave crowd, you will find people who are just like. It's kind of like being at a club. Yeah, like going to a club. Like some people just, are, you just have to be like, whoa. You're like no one's at, like I can't wait to leave soon. I think it's the same for any kind of music genre. Like think of all the girls who like drag their boyfriends to go with them to Harry Styles or whatever. Who are the just guys like I'm here pretending. to support. The guys are not pretending. Mm, they might be. I think so. I don't know. Maybe I'm off on a bad. Like, what if you here. came with us to a Taylor Swift show? Like, you would be pretending to have a nice time. So again, the prompt is: What do you convince other people are pretending to enjoy? Someone said sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sad. Oh, really sad. So, and then someone goes same, and then someone responded: So you also don't enjoy sex with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. The Oscars and other award shows. Oh, I could see that. Uh, no, but for people who don't follow it, and I, yeah. I don't blame you for not wanting to watch it. No, but I think even like people that are there are pretending. Like the actors who are there don't actually. Some of the people don't actually give as much of a shit. No, 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 yeah, no. I, de I, I think they genuinely don't give a shit, but they understand like it's important to recognize like these people. But the, yeah, but the Oscars make it seem like this is the most important thing of your career. But a lot of these actors are just pretending to be. I'm so thankful for this award, and it just means so oh, much to no. me. For some people, man. For some they, people, it does. Oh. I know. For some people, because it makes their career. If you win the Oscar, your paycheck just went up, and you're now like sort bona fide. But if you're like, I don't know. Who do you think wouldn't care if they got an Oscar for the first time ever? Yeah, like they would be that person that he's. Like I don't think I don't think like Samuel L. Jackson actually gives a shit about the Oscars. He's like, dude, I'm fucking doing whatever I want. Has I he care. ever won one? I don't know. But I feel like he's just like a guy who's just kind of, you know. You're telling me that when Samuel L. Jackson was at the beginning of his career, and if he won an Oscar, he as, wouldn't care about it? No, Ezra, not at the beginning of his career. Ezra but... Miller. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. He wouldn't Is he even like invited? Shit. I don't know. Probably not. But I could see him. Isn't he going to be Shia LaBeouf, uh, uh, Shia LaBeouf, I could see him not really caring. Yeah. Like, but I also think Shia LaBeouf could win an Oscar. Or like if Ezra, if, if uh, Vampire <laughs> Weekend won a Grammy. I feel like they'd be like, this is cool. They, they, have, have, to... they have won a Grammy. Oh. What for was Best there? Rock Album, Father so like, of the Bride. Or Alternative that, Album. Do you think that he was actually as excited as like... You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a little bit of phoning in with these award shows. I know. All well, of these people that we're referencing, I feel like, are all kind of a little pretentious also, though. So you think they actually buy into it of like, oh, my God, thank you no, so I much. No, I think they're just like, oh, I'm I'm like better than the Grammys. That is possible, too. Yeah. That they're, they're, yeah. Like, uh, why do I need an award to hmm. tell me that my art is good? I wish there was a better uh, influencer awards. Like if someone just really did it right, no, like I feel a good like, one. Yeah, I, just... my thing I hate about influencer war, uh, war, awards. I think everyone has the fucking worst etiquette I've ever seen at influencer awards. <laughs> what happened? Yes, to you? if you, if yes, you don't know who who this a uh, beauty vlogger is who's up for an award. Vloggers. Still fucking clap. <laughs> I went to the Streamies Awards. I've never been more disappointed <laughs> in anybody just laughing sympathetically to anybody giving up and making jokes and just clapping. People did not fucking clap with shit. You look like idiots. Next time you go watch those <laughs> award shows, look at how terrible the etiquette is of all <laughs> oh, those other influencers. Wow. And to the influencers who do go to those things, Clap. Have some fucking decorum. <laughs> you pieces of shit. It's also I think that's the most disrespect. If you, there's a reason why people hate influencers. It's because of how y'all act at this damn award shows. <laughs> decorum. Just clap at things hey, in general. I don't like, get why anybody doesn't fucking clap. Because well, you're giving a lot of credit to people who are just like pretty not great people to begin with. I guess so. I had never just been when I time I went to the streamies, I was like, can we just fucking clap <laughs> for people i've never felt oh my god yeah I went sorry to, wait was that too much no, 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 no. I, I hear i went to the shorties once or twice yeah. too and it's like they're awkward they're so yeah awkward. it's awkward because like you don't 
it's like you're kind of friends with some people, you don't know other people, and then someone else is giving a speech or like they're nominated and it's just- Just be respectful. And I yeah. don't understand that. Yeah. Why somebody is getting finally an award for something that they've worked so hard on for their entire year, and you think you're just too special or you don't give a shit to just move your hands like this and clap? <laughs> I don't know. I bet Can't if you rewatch the stream, you'll be seeing me going, <laughs> wow. like, I, don't get, I, I can't imagine i just this is just my nature if someone's winning an award and they're announcing people and then all these people start clapping and you just go like and just watch it shit happen how yeah what is in your human nature i'm for on you your not side. to have an You're inch in of environment like just joy be a part of it yeah and having and especially this. it's like imagine if you won and everyone was like even if you were uh, like in the same category and lost yeah you still i mean you yeah. Have to yeah. Do a little yeah. i don't understand it's why so people don't do that awkward at award shows when they like flash to other people in the category and then they're not like they have to be yeah just oh. watching someone win an award the whole room claps and then you're just like <laughs> who the fuck are you <laughs> who the fuck are you and no and i mean this by like there's large spurts of people i yeah. hate bad audience etiquette people who talk while other people are like talking on stage and stuff. Yeah. Just it's just a time and a place. Yeah, yeah. That bothers me too. I'm like, Shh. And I'm not saying it's like, oh, we need to have the best decorum. Like it, it's up to the Oscars. But like, I've never yeah. been more disappointed with the influencer social media space <laughs> at public events where people are getting awards. And they're all your peers too. Like, why would you want people who like, you could potentially collaborate with or like do all their things with to think yeah. that you're like a rude asshole. Yeah, and I'm not targeting out anybody and I'm not saying I'm bitter because oh, I didn't win any war. I don't give a shit <laughs> have about you never that. won? Didn't you win something? Oh, uh, we won ensemble. like best YouTube ensemble, but I just have never been just more like, this is why people hate this shit. Yeah, it's also, yeah, so awkward just being there. I don't, I'm sure like every award show is, but like, it's very The awkward. production value I feel like is probably a little not bit better great. at the Oscars and the Grammys. Yeah, probably a little bit better. Yeah. The whatever awards. Yeah. Yeah, I just wish people, and it's also maybe just, I feel like there's been a lack of like public, like laughing and clapping to things. Is there, there anyone that if you were at an award show, you wouldn't clap for? Uh, Kanye West. Ooh, Will one. Smith? I, Will Smith, I sure I, I sure as shit after he slapped uh, Chris <laughs> Rock, I wouldn't have stood up for him when he won. Yeah, that was the sure best shit. actor. <laughs> <laughs> He's swearing. I sure as shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a funny, like, you're just yeah. animated and funny. That, that was wild. insane that he got a standing ovation after assaulting yeah. someone. Huh? Huh? That's he crazy. slapped a guy, and he still won. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Things That Happened a Year Ago podcast. Yeah. <laughs> No, I guess true, like though. if like Harvey Weinstein won something, yeah. I guess, but I don't think he's winning anything. I think not in jail, that's for sure. Yeah, not Mel in jail. Gibson, not Trump, a fan. I would never clap um, for Trump. Yeah, eh, I he, think time and place. If maybe Trump gave a speech. <laughs> I wouldn't applaud before, but if he was funny, maybe after I'll give him a. All right, that was good. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's hard for me to think. I'm trying to think of like people who. I've, Issues with. I think the other problem with those influencer awards mm. is that they just nominate literally every influencer because they want every influencer to post um, that I was nominated and then they build their brand and it's like, yeah. okay, we get like everyone can kind of see through it and it just doesn't feel special. Yeah. But if there was like Carly and I lost one year to who? I'll never go back. Jenna and Julian. Yeah. <laughs> Which deserved. Could we get nominated? I wish that Jenna had left the internet before that. <laughs> we would have had a <laughs> chance. <laughs> we were Aaron. so excited. We were posting it everywhere. This what is like it, 20 like best YouTube 17 duo? or something. I think yeah. So, yeah. For wow. streamies or shorties? Well, I, don't, I don't remember. I, I never remember the difference. I, I could have no it. No, it wasn't Webby's. I don't I really don't know. I don't even know. I could know look either. at my email. I think it was streamies. Which one's like like YouTube should put on an award show. They do. It's the streamies. Oh, YouTube does the streamies. Yes. Eh. What is the difference? It's uh, the same thing, right? It's the right? media outlets that own it. Yeah, well, the shorties, I think, is like a separate company. Like, yeah, but like it's the overall same concept, just like the, the internet thing. awards. Yeah. Do you think they'd ever do like a podcast one specifically? Imagine or is there enough? Two, they have a podcast one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, like the just award show? podcast awards? I'm I'm pretty sure there's like a podcast awards. Oh, oh, an unfiltered we won American Influencer Awards. Oh, on a podcast, podcast one, best podcast. Oh, but yeah, I, I mean, it's just a podcast awards is like best solo podcast, best <laughs> video podcast. <laughs> We're up against Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> Call her daddy, Joe Rogan. Really, he's like just want to thank everyone up here. Mm. 
Good influences. The I'm honored to be in the same category as good influences. influences. You motherfuckers are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the Webbies do it, too. Didn't Joe win a Webby for doing that thing with Tom Ford? What did he do with Tom he Ford? Was, he was nominated. No, he won it. He has a trophy in his house. What did he do with Are Tom sure Ford? Are you sure it's real? He has no, a lot of fake trophies. He, he it's a Dundee. To, <laughs> yeah. He directed uh, a commercial? commercial with Tom Ford. Oh, I didn't. And like worked with him on it and wow. won something. Yeah. Did he get a suit? I don't know. Did he get suits? <laughs> Maybe it was like an ad advertising agency award. I bet they wear Tom Ford in suits. <laughs> Probably. That's a cool show. Have you ever watched it? Uh... Suits? Are we still on suits? No, we can move on. Okay, so what I brought is some good news that has happened. Okay, oh, I so love things that. that like, you know, okay, oh, not that I'm not a grumpy old man anymore. Okay, doing positivity. John Krasinski. Uh, Maybe we can sell this for a billion dollars or whatever he sold it for. What did he sell? Good news. Remember it came out in the pandemic, John Krasinski did that like internet show? It was just, it was such a weird, it was like right at the beginning of the pandemic <laughs> and he would like highlight some good news and because would, everything was so depressing yeah. and then he literally sold it for like millions of dollars but then like they nothing, nothing ever happened it. yeah he just cashed good out. for him got his bag <laughs> yeah good news got his bag this will get me through the pandemic <laughs> yeah. um so the ozone layer is healing much faster and should or sorry the ozone layer is healing and should soon heal even faster if not everyone remembers but in the 90s the ozone layer was kind of like a big oh, i remember being so scared of the ozone layer that it was like opening up oh i remember when a teacher first explained the ozone layer she goes every time you start your car a piece <laughs> of the ozone layer goes away <laughs> she goes every time we that's we, horrifying we, and that i was so like i for thought life. The, like the way she did this and every time it was like a it little was bubble. gone and i thought it was gonna be like 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 what oh, if i started twice like, today what? That's oh, yeah, what yeah. me with hairspray. I remember people would say oh, hairspray. Yeah. I was like, aerosol. I can't use hairspray. Aerosol, aerosol, aerosol cans with the whatever's in the particles. Would, yeah. And so that was a big problem. <laughs> but me, but and I'm then, inside my house. <laughs> um, yeah. I know. How is it going to get into the spray outside? And wait, so it in space. why is it healing faster? Because, because in there's 1987, no kids. <laughs> in 1987, there was a treaty that banned dangerous gases and the ozone layer is on track to recover within 40 years, meaning like it will be completely wow. healed back to where it Did was. Did you guys see that photo of, I forget, I think it might've been Shein or like one of those fast fashion brands that like from space or something, you can literally see the landfill of where they dump everything. It's insane. This year, California got the water that it needed. It rained for oh. those who don't know. And California is per like basically perpetually in a drought. Um, but and, well, it's, it's not that to, we need it because it's, it's not even raining. hot out here. Well, record levels of rainfall have replenished the reservoirs and built up the all important snowpack in the Sierras. We still need a little bit more water to get out of the years long drought, which is still ongoing. But 2023 is looking better than it would have been expected. I wonder nice. if fire season will be like minimal this year. It That's will be hope. because yeah. it's El Nino. They just <laughs> announced yesterday or this morning that it's El Nino. Oh, okay. It's just I, like El Nino is something I feel like I heard once at school. Oh, so there was like a whole chapter El Nino, La Nina. La I know Nina. it all it alternates and it uh, it predicts uh, where it's going to be more wet and where it's going to be more dry across like the country. And so the lower half of the country, like Southern California and everything, will be Northern California. I don't know. Wet. But no, we'll be wet. We're going to have a lot of rain hmm. for this it's not summer. the only thing that's going to be wet this summer. <laughs> One margarita. <laughs> <laughs> in the US, in Europe, and even in China, you can see further and breathe easier with each year that passes because fine particulate matter pollution has fallen by 41% in the US since 1990, saving 370,000 lives per year, Damn. which means that 30,000 people this month are not dying from lung disease. Wow. Whoa. That's crazy. Um, Where's like the Taylor Swift settles <laughs> Ticketmaster dispute and all the fees for concerts are going to be. <laughs> that hasn't happened. I don't think, but, It'll happen. Um, more artifacts are being rightfully returned to their countries, which I don't know if this is a thing that people know, but a lot of other countries have very famous and important artifacts from other countries, most notably the British Museum, basically like stole everything from uh, Africa and all these other countries. There's a joke, why why are the pyramids in Egypt? It's because, because they're, they're too, too heavy big. to move to the British Museum. Oh, shit. Uh, but uh, well, last year, um, sculptures that had been seized in Nigeria by British soldiers in 1897 
have since dispersed into public and private collections around the world, meaning like they're giving them back. Um, the Houston Museum returned a large sarcophagus to Egypt. And <laughs> I think I just saw this. They like opened it. I don't know. They opened Yum. it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so dusty. Um, yeah. Yeah, that that was this Mashable article also had a lot of stuff about like Trump, and I'm like, okay, Mashable that's not... is still Where's putting the up fun article? stuff. What do you mean the fun? Like, stuff? there's gonna be a Ted Lasso season four. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you think of good news? Yeah. <laughs> Suits is making a comeback. Okay. Um, the Suits re- <laughs> revival. <laughs> suits too furious. Conversion therapy for LGBTQ is banned in nice. Canada. Oh, good. So huge. They do everything oh, good wow. there. Um. Maya Angelou became the first black woman to be featured on a U.S. quarter. What? Oh, I gotta get that quarter. <laughs> Did you ever have the like book that oh, you would state? put on oh, the quarter? Yes. Yes. And you thought they're gonna be worth so, so much. Cool. We're gonna retire off of this one. Sometimes day. I'm always worried I like didn't finish the collection. I feel like you. I probably didn't. I mean, you can I buy them never... on eBay, right? Of people who finished it. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. But how much do they upcharge you based on like the quarters? <laughs> well, a lot. Probably the quarters I bet they're and in then good the board. Mm-hmm. You like good that quarters. was like so fun when they all just came out. They're I like know. new quarters. I know <gasps> with um, pictures. <laughs> doctors in four Canadian provinces were approved to begin prescribing a year-long pass to national parks as treatment. That's kind of cool. Wait, yeah, like you like instead of getting uh you know medicine for like to feel better they just say just go out and here's a par- here's a year-long pass oh. for the national park what? and just going out in nature will heal you because just Canadian honey we need to go parks? to yellowstone <laughs> act depressed <laughs> yeah uh rihanna committed 15 million dollars to climate justice organizations in the u.s Damn. and the caribbean you may have seen rihanna's baby news exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark but you may have missed this news that her foundation has committed 50 million dollars to climate justice 50 or 15 one five she could afford a little bit more <laughs> Riri, let's write that check, babe. Is she from Barbados? The Caribbean, yeah. Oh, this is good for me and the three of us. The White House has announced a five-year, $5 billion investment in electric vehicle charging stations around the country. Wow. More EVs, that's good. Up from just 2,000 in total in 2020, researchers have counted nearly 250,000 monarch butterflies in California. Whoa. That's pretty sick. One. Two, the highest yeah. <laughs> counting them. Yeah. <laughs> How do they keep trying? What did they do the same one ten times? They survey like one piece of land, and they realize if there are yeah. this many in that land in times of like that. But that's that right, only five percent of how many there were in the eighties. Oh, yikes! I guess they could have disappeared. Dang, that's a lot. Have you seen the Mormon crickets all over in yes. Nevada? No, so it's that. Yes. Yes. We talked about it on our podcast. I've basically... always kind of wanted as much, as much as that grosses me out. I kind of would love to be like in the middle of a takeover <gasps> of like bugs, like temporarily in a city. Be like the city's overrun with millions of crickets. We need to get out of here. No. Like I kind of would like Isn't that there a movie with that, but with bees. Birds. Oh. Yeah, birds. Birds. Arachnophobia with spiders. There's tons of those like kind of movies. Have wanna... you seen the thing that like bees are attacking people? Africanized ones? No, no, oh, no yes. Like, I've been getting a, a bunch of like videos. Yeah, that there's like just people will be walking somewhere. It's happened in California, I think in Texas, and there's video footage of just like someone just walking down the street and then a swarm of bees just starts attacking. What the, that's like my worst nightmare. There's nothing you can do. And this guy was just like sitting with like his jacket over his head and he called 911 and the cops came and then the cops <gasps> started getting attacked by bees and they waited for the hey, cab. the fire department to come and the fire department just blasts you with a hose <laughs> by the time the fire department oh got there he got stung like 150 <gasps> times oh, did he live my yeah and they, they removed 150 singers from him and it's been happening more and more where like you'll just be walking and a swarm of bees it's like the orca there's nothing you can do they're like, all revolting what did someone you, do to the bee you can't run away from them because they'll just they're, follow they're you fast do, so you got to find like water to jump i've into. never been stung by a bee so but oh, do really i scary. think i have actually been stung by the bee, a bee i just like Don't i would know I wouldn't know. Well, like yeah. if you were like a little kid, maybe you but just like I never, didn't know. I never it's, have. That's how I am. I don't think I have either. Like, maybe I like did feel like a little weird thing one day, and it was a bee sting, and I just blew yeah. it off. But I'm just yeah. I know. I'm like I don't even know if I'm allergic or not. I don't yeah. think. A Canadian art therapist is using TikTok to help people heal and create. Wait, what about this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, art therapy IRL uses TikTok and social media to make power the power of art therapy more accessible for people. What color is your heart today? She will ask to the camera. Oh, cool. 
Which, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's Blue. some good news. Well, we Thank love you some for good sharing. News. Yeah, thanks for the Namaste. good news. Namaste. Thank oh. you, everyone, for joining us. We hope you had a happy four. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.